So now we're going to compute some probabilities using counting. So a four-digit pin number is selected. What is the probability that there are no repeated digits? Uh, so that would mean that all the digits have to be different. Uh, so if I was going to, uh, pick, uh, four digits where there all the digits are different, I would have, uh, ten choices for the first digit, assuming we're allowing values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have ten choices for the first digit, nine for the second digit because we're not going to allow repeats, uh, eight for the third digit and seven for the fourth digit, or in other words, uh, that's 10p4, right? Uh, is 5,040 different pins, pins with no repeats. Now, in order to compute the probability, we're going to have to find the total number of, of, of pin numbers, including repeats. So, all pins. So, if we consider all pins that including re allowing repeats, how many choices are there for the first number? 10. How many for the second number? Also 10, also 10, also 10, because we allow repeats, so there's no exclusions. So, that's 10 to the 4th and 10 to the 4th is, uh, 10,000. So there's 10,000 total pins. Out of those, 5,040 of them have no repeats. So we got 5,040 out of 10,000, or about 50.4% of pins, uh, have no repeated digits. So now let's look at a, a lottery problem. Uh, so in a certain state's lottery, we got 48 different numbers. Uh, and six of them are drawn at random. Uh, and if you have, and you, the player gets to choose six numbers, and if their six numbers match, they win a million dollars. Uh, and the order doesn't matter in this particular lotto, so we're not playing Powerball. Uh, and <laughs> let's see if we, let's see if we can find the probability that that we win that, um, we win that million dollar prize if we purchase a single ticket. So the first thing we need to know is how many possible outcomes are there. So from, 48 different numbers, uh, there, we're going to choose six of them, and order here does not matter, uh, which is why we're using combinations. And so we end up with, uh, 12,271,512 different six number outcomes. Now, if you have one ticket, then you have one outcome, and so your probability of winning is one out of 12,271,512. 512, which is a really, really small number. Uh, and so that's the probability of winning the main prize. Now, oftentimes there's a second prize, and in this case, uh, it's a thousand dollars if you can match five of the numbers. Now, there are still 48 choose 6, uh, 12,271,512 different outcomes. But now we need to figure out how many of those involve us winning, uh, matching five of the numbers. Now, in order for that to happen, from our six numbers on the card, we're gonna have to match five of them. So how many different ways can we pick five matching numbers out of our six? That would be six choose five, which is six. Now, we also have to consider that, you know, how many different ways could we not pick the, the last number. Uh, so from the 42 non-winning numbers, uh, we need to pick one of them to be on our card, and so that is, is 42. So our final probability of winning is gonna be, there are, uh, that many, 42 times 6 is 252 different ways that we can match five numbers and not match the six. Out of our, uh, 48 choose 6, out of our 12,271,512 total outcomes, uh, and that gives us a, you know, marginally higher probability of winning, though it's still pretty small.